Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, a couple things. Wimbo, you are finally on the layout. And I did a little bit of grinding. Got you up 25. Shikamaru the how the Kadabra up to 25. Kerma the Vulpix 25. Hidan the Kabutops 26. Chosa the Snorlax 25. In Neji the Hitmonchan up to 25. Really quick Wimbo, you didn't get a chance to really see it, I don't think. Water Gun, Hypnosis, and Bubble is where we're sitting at with you, bud. So, we are going to continue. And I don't know of how long it's going to take us to get through here, because I'm also doing it blindly. Running off of old memory. Um, but we are going to get this all in one run. We're going to get this all done in one episode. I'm not saving here in the cave. So, let's go. Hitmonlee. Mm, not really prime. Hopefully he stays asleep one more turn. And hopefully this kills. There we go. And the Venusaur. Alright. So apparently this was just meant to be a Shikamaru fight. A Gyarados? That would have been a nice one for you, Wimbo. Green, don't get me wrong. Poliwhirl ain't no slouch. But that would have been a nice one for you. And apparently they're very common. I'm surprised that we didn't run into one. I draw Pokemon when I'm home. Let's see. Likes to fight Doduo. We can fight Doduo. I don't have fighting typing yet. No. I'm gonna go and hip try to hypnosis it because that Fury attack can kind of do some damage. And it did not land. Having difficulty getting it to go. There we go. If it can just sleep for two more turns. And it is dead. All right. Hypno. I, I think there might be a trainer right there. I'm going to go and heal up Wimbo. I thought so. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Well, I'm glad that somebody can see. In the Geodude. Mm, probably not your best bet to fight me. And a slow poke. Nice. First turn hypnosis.
Now I'm gonna go straight over into Choza. Give this thing a few headbutts. Headbutt was disabled, meaning I have to go to Hedon because I ain't got any other attack moves. And we'll just hit it with a scratch. Well, he withstood that attack a little bit. So here's another one. And what is this? A Nidorino? I wish I had gotten some repel. Holy crap! Okay, level 15. I should be able to run away. Do you know about costume players? Cosplayers is the terminology that you're looking for, bud. It's low enough, I think a bubble will do. That uh, just right right at the edge. And hit my chan. Alright, comet punch probably gonna do too much. I sent out Shikamaru, it might ill live one of them. Six. There we go. And Wimbo learned double slap, that's nice. We'll use some of the more of these potions that we got. And there we go. Hey, we have a repel. That'll help us a little. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Only if you have a Mewtwo. And that is not Mewtwo. I I think you're gonna be crying, bud. Unless somehow you manage to teach your Flareon self-destruct, I think this is gonna end up with you crying. And losing money. However, this gives me a good chance for a question of the day right here. Uh, Flareon. Which one of these evolutions are your favorite? Mine, I'm going to have to say... Oh, and I've already done this question. What am I thinking? I'm going nuts, fellas. Fellas and gals. I'm going a little bit crazy here. That's already been a question. Um... What music soundtrack of these games do you like the best off of Generation 1? I'd have to say my favorite of the tracks is probably by far the Victory Road theme. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Uh, no. 
Eric Cartman eyes. All right, Scyther. High crit rates. Now we're going to go in for the double. Alright, so he can't outspeed me without the priority. That's good. If he goes for the priority, at least it's not Slash. I'm not sure if he knows Slash yet, but at least it won't be that. And that was a crit, so critical hit. Uh, quick attack, less than 20 damage. And it's dead. Let's try another double slap. Two, three, four. One, two. I, I really miss the days of uh, before Pokemon spoilers. Like, I remember playing through these games. It was so... It was hard, but... Especially since, you know, I was like four or five. But... It was hard, but it was really enjoyable. And whenever Gen 2 came out, I remember see, speaking of the... Uh, now that I see the Seedra, it reminded me of the first time I ever ran across a Kingdra. Right there inside Claire's gym. Oh boy, was that thing a train wreck. It was difficult. I will say, seeing it was very nice. It was just a really good wow moment. The last game I was able to do that with, in all honesty, was Sword and Shield. And I thought it was brilliant. I really loved it. It was the first one without any designs or anything being leaked that I... Because I purposely avoided it, like the plague. And really, I think that's one of the reasons why I really came to like Sword and Shield as much as I did. It's because I avoided those leaks. And whenever the next generation of Pokemon comes out, I do plan on avoiding those too. I'll basically get the name, make sure it's a confirmation by Pokemon Company, and then I'll just leave it alone. I don't want to know anything about it because I want it to be fresh. Alright, Doug Trio. High speed. It no slash by now. It also knows dig. Wimbo, I think you're my best shot. And come on, and it cut one shot. It got close though. And Pikachu. Alright, so from here I will go into Kurama again. Take a quick attack. Take another one, and I will dig down. And hopefully one kit one hit it, yes. I almost said one kick it. It's just one of those Pokemon you really want to just sit on the ground and punt. You just want to punt a Pikachu. Alright. Heal up Wimbo a little. And I'll keep Karma out there for a minute. Is this my turn? Oh, 
I'm one to say that we're on the right path. I just don't know for sure. And this is a dead end. And that is nasty. That is a nasty thing to run into in this cave with a fire type in my lead. And that ain't much better. Granted, slightly better. When it comes to experience, I'll take it. There we go. Mm, trainers. I think there's going to be three trainers down in this hallway, I think. But this is a good sign. This is the right hallway. Ponyta. And a Gengar. Kind of nasty to run into. Do I have any status moves? No, I don't. Alright, so here's where I'm going to do a little bit of switching. I'm going to go into Wimbo. Lick is going to hit, but it's better to hit Wimbo than it is to hit Cadaver. I'm going to use Hypnosis. I'm going to try Hypnosis again. Nice. It's going to take him at least one turn to wake up. I'll switch into Shikamaru on the free swap. And thanks to Gengar's poison typing, Confusion should kill. Two shot. I'll take a two shot. It was too dark. Well, you have a dark Pokemon. Alright, two more potions on Wimbo, just to make sure. I can at least use half a potion so I don't consider it a full waste. And... Let's send Neji up in the lead. He does need some experience. Lavender Town, we're about to run across it, and I was talking about Pokemon themes earlier. And the Lavender theme, I think, is the one that gets most iconically stuck in people's heads. Just a do, 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 do. I think it really gets stuck in people's heads. And it kind of gives it that real ominous feeling, kind of like Viridian Forest does. Namely because that's kind of a place where you're infamous for getting poisoned. I'm not ready for these dragon nairs to become dragonites automatically. Because later on, of as far as I am aware of how the randomization works, because I'm putting on a forced ev evolution cap thing, basically it'll take now now I'll run into three times more likely to run into dragonites. Of what I understand, it basically still goes off of the 151 cycle, but now each of those three slots are now Dragonite. And that's really terrifying. Alright, I think I can do one more.
and a Mew. Alright, we'll send in Choza, and hopefully he can get this thing knocked out. Two hits. Maybe three now. Nope, still two. I wasn't sure if, he kept, if it took my HP. It's hard telling with these Gen 1 games. Of what all was implemented, what wasn't. Neji will take three potions. And shows I'll take one. Another paralyzed heal. It's a good thing I bought as much supplies as I did. Going into this cave, I knew it was going to be a nightmare. Alright, I think that's the way. Ozma, really angry that I didn't bring him with me. An electrode. The lower tier of the electric types in this game. He doesn't learn hardly anything. He relies on that sonic boom for so long. And I think this is the last trainer of this cave. Look at him, just tough guy crossing his tentacles. Oh, nice, almost a one shot. Weedle. And a slow burrow. Nice crit. And there we go. Ozima, leave me alone. I'm not bringing you out of the PC, bud. Nice! That should be what I need for... That's why I need to... Oh crap, I don't know why I dipped up. Of why, of why I need to evolve you, Wimbo, but... I'm gonna see if there's any more moves that I really need to teach you before I go and do that. Because I don't want them to lose out on specific moves. I know at 35 I can use the Firestone and the PC to evolve Kurma. And there's that theme. All right. So, I am going to go and fight my rival just to wrap up this episode and so that he's out of the way. And he is here visiting his dead Eradicate all over again, because it was randomized out to Eradicate. I'm going to start with Shikamaru, because it's hard to swap into something else. 
Hey, Red, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. You sure do, buddy. I can at least make them faint. Let's go on, pal. Electrode. Alright, so I'm gonna go into... Kurama here. The Sonic Boom will come in. I can use a dig. It'll be a two shot. There we go. Next up will be a ditto. I'm gonna go and dig. He's gonna turn into me, gain the fire typing. He's also gonna be a, a weak to this dig that's about to come. And he read it. But we're also weak to it, so we gotta move too. And we're gonna move right into Wimbo. And use the water gun. What is up with. Mmm, that's really low special. And try to double slap it whenever it gets up. One. Nice, it's scoring crits. We're gonna try once more. Alright, Dragonair's here. So let's go into Choza. As a case, sooner or later, he will slip up. And right there's possibly the first slip. And nope. And there it missed. Almost out. Butterfree. Nice. And Moltres is gonna come in. I should be able to take this out with Choza. And there we go. So he gained a legendary. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. I wonder if the if that has to do with the fact that supposedly it wears its mother's skull on its head. There's a lot of debate and controversy over that, but I wonder. So guys, if you all like the episode, go ahead and hit the like button on this. Subscribe, it'll help me hit my, uh, my fiscal goal of 100 subs. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!